Look at this, guys. We've got a special video today, don't we? No unboxings, no make our money back challenges. We're just in the card room and nothing super special. But to me, because I don't really PC cards, I'm more of a sealed wax collector, if you know. Wow, that was hard for me to say. This is a pretty big deal for me to have a decent sized collection of a player, let alone Tom Brady. So today we're just going through all my Tom Brady cards. They are kind of uh, listed in order of weakest to greatest, but not perfectly. I do have a unboxing soon coming. We got a new series I'm actually announcing. Yeah, I know my whole 440 subs. We're getting wicked up here. I'm going to do a new ser series, whatever you call it, where I break till I go broke. So I'm going to start with the product. It's usually going to be the same product, and like Prism. And we're going to open a box. And if, doing my Make My Money Back challenge, if all the totals add up to, you know, $30 or more, which is the value, the current value of this box that I bought it at, then I will open another, and so on and so forth, until one of my boxes doesn't make the $30 back. But I can do it with any product, obviously. But we will be doing this as our next video. So please, guys, if you're new, if you don't know me, you're just looking at Tom Brady cards, please hit that subscribe button anyways. I would love to um, add you to the wait list for that video and many to come, including my Make My Money Back challenges. But nonetheless, let's get into this. I'm excited. First off, just a little bit of Tom Brady action. Tom Brady. Card collection. Look at these thickies. We got the One Touch Pros. We got the top loaders. And then the little weak insert base cards. Now this is not a, you know, super 10 plus K worth of collection of all of his autographs and rookies. Like I said, most of my money's in sealed products. So just a fun collection here. So first off, we will do the cheapos, of course, on the top. Get into that. Tom Brady season ticket 2021 contenders. Then we got a triple threat Maroos Maroney. Nice rookies and stars. Opened a lot of that. I actually like that product a lot, especially for the money. There's some more. Some good rookies and stars. Donruss from this year. Most of the product I've ripped is this year also, so a lot of the cards will be around these years until we get to the better values. Another Donner. So what's the difference there? Can someone comment? Are those variations from the Donner series? I don't know too much about Donner. I think they're variations. Prestige. Not the best product there. Score. I think that's 2017. 2018. Fantasy point score. Prestigious pros. 2021. More prestige. Then a nice older season ticket. Got this at a card show. A little less than that dollar. And this is a Tom Brady score. Kind of a cool throwing through the winner photo there. I like that one. Then two more. These are contenders 2018. Josh Allen's rookie year. Lamar Jackson. You know the deal. <laughs> Baker Mayfield. Um, then we got the Tom Brady. Now we're on to top loaders. So I like these cards a little more. The Tom Brady. Or obviously Tom Brady. The Rookies and Stars 2020. That was last year's. Then the season ticket, I just opened this in my last uh, video. Which, by the way, if you want to know, I always post card breaks on my ASMR channel. I have an ASMR account where I post ASMR videos, and most of it is card unboxings or make my money back challenges. So if you want to give relaxation a chance with cards, I really had suggest you look up Jeebs or ASMR and subscribe there too. Okay, here's an older one. This is a 2011 Tops. Like that guy with the 2010 All Pro. Back and forth was super, super mass printed. <laughs> then we got two of these. I think another one's laying in there. Tom Brady Stargazing Absolute. Insert. Here's an older one. An SP. I think it's like 2009 or, yeah, 2008 SP Rookie Edition. So this is kind of a cool one. Busted that when I first started collecting. I've always put all my Tom Brady cards aside whenever I open cards. So this is a nice red variation, standing ovation from 2017 or 16. And then here we go, starting with the Chromies, select. Nice little 2020 select base. 
It is the uh, concourse, sadly. And here's another one to join them. Two concourses. Then we got the Turbo Charge. These are 2020, obviously. 2021 Select still hasn't came out, or Prism at this time, or Optic. So a nice Turbo Charge. Those are pretty cool. I like the Prisms. They only sell for like 10, 15 the Prisms, but those are pretty cool. This one's actually a pretty decent sell. It's like eight, ten dollars. Last I checked, probably only like five now. A purple variation, Tom Brady base. It's one of the parallels you get. You can pull in rookies and stars. Makes the card a little more valuable, so that's kind of cool. Okay, then here we go. This one's pretty sick. Optic, two thousand sixteen. Like that. I just like that image of them. And moving on to mosaic. The mosaic base, the NFC, so not the base base, but I love that. I love mosaic cards. That's why I like to rip mosaic the most, probably. Or prism, I guess. Just yeah, prism's up there, and optic, obviously. Okay, touchdown masters, love these. This little big, big head. <laughs> kind of a cool one from twenty twenty mosaic. Where's that twenty one? Yeah, it's twenty one. Not bad. Okay, then we got the Hot Stars 2020. Pretty dope insert here. I like this one. I did pay five for that at a card show, which is about what it's worth. But you gotta hold that for long term, you know it. Okay, and then we got a sick prism base from 2018. So the fifth year of prism, because 2013 is when it debuted. EJ Manuel and Geno Smith's rookie year. You know that was a Banging first year for Prism to be introduced. The only reason that product isn't super expensive. I mean, it's pretty expensive. Don't get me wrong, but imagine if that was like 2020's draft class. 2018. Alright. Tom Brady. Prism. 2020. Love that. I just love Prism. That's such a clean card right there. Okay, then we're getting to just a, a, a little bit of color here. Here we go. And I do not, disclaimer, before you get excited, I don't have any autos. I don't even have jerseys of them. These are just the chrome cards that, you know, there's some expensive ones, decently spendy. But no multi-thousand dollar cards, sorry. So there's a playoff behind the numbers red. I love this parallel. From playoff. Love this insert. It's like one of the best inserts and players you can get from 2021 playoff, which I have way too much of, sadly. I'm moving on to a little bit more color here. We got the Mosaic Silver NFC. I love that silver look. I think I got it for exactly 535 because I bought both these on eBay together. So I split the difference. Here's the yellow reactive one. Got a pretty good deal on that considering they go for 10 to 15 a piece sometimes. So that was cool. Little decent Mosaic Prism combo deal there. Okay, and now we're taking a little, little leap. I just remember, I like to mag touch certain cards that you guys might not agree with. Okay, sorry, I had to make some room. Okay, so now here's the one touch cards. The rest of the Tom Brady's. So first off, we have... From my Rookies and Stars Pulsar set I bought this year, 2021. Where it's a whole complete set of every card from the year, but in a Pulsar prism. And so this is the Tom Brady. Had to touch that up. Look at that gorgeous. That shine right there. Mm. So splendid. And I thought it was going to be his last year as a rookie. but Or last year. Rookie. Last year playing. But we got a whole nother year of Tom Brady cards. Guys, that's the only reason you want to buy 2022 football this year. Because the rookies are going to be, you know, not trash. I'm sure there's going to be some hidden gems. Great receivers. Amazing defensive players. But... It's probably not going to be a huge rookie year, but you'll have Tom Brady's last cards ever made in this year. In this year coming up. So watch it, guys. There's going to be some hidden value in 2022, I'm telling you. Okay, then moving on, another Rookies and Stars. I just They have gorgeous cards. A Crusade, horribly centered, but still a nice little Crusade. White. So that, that one was pretty nasty. And then these are sick. Adonis Elite Spellbound, the last letter in Spellbound, the Y. This is my, one of my low-key pretty cool cards, I think. Pretty 
you go. Pink, and it's the pink, sorry, it's the pink parallel variation. Pulled that in my only pack of Donruss I've ever, ever opened, 2021. Or my buddy did, I think, and I traded him on the spot, but I love that card. Okay, now we're moving on to my weird PC, Chrome, baby. Topps Chrome got, you know, discontinued in 2015 when they stopped getting the NFL license. So all the pre-2015 Chromes, I love to collect just because it's, you know, an, an, it's, it's, it's an old era that will never be redoed. Redone, exactly. They'll have brand new Topps Chrome coming out soon, I'm sure. Now that Fanatic's got it, but this is the old, real Topps Chrome. And I love that there's a gap in between this stuff and the new stuff. So, I love collecting old Chrome, especially because of print runs. You know that this new Topps Chrome is going to be way higher print run than this stuff in 2014. So, that's what makes these pretty valuable, the Topps Chrome refractors. Especially the orange ones I love because you can sneak them under 100 bucks every once in a while on eBay. Okay, so there's the 2014. <clears throat> there's another 2014, which if you guys want, I, I suggest looking up Topps Chrome Tom Brady cards if you want a long-term investment. Right now, they're cheap because it's the summer is about to hit, and, and there's no football right now. But yeah, so I got two of these 2014s. And stepping up, we've got the green 2014. It's nice chrome action for you right there. Then... Another step up, we got 2012 Tom's Chrome, orange. And these are kind of the years that sell the most. So 2012 isn't like a super hot, hot year, but better than 2014. That's the most printed, I think, was 2014. Then this one's a little rare, but horribly off-centered, so I had to include it next. The 2010 orange Tom's Chrome. See a theme here? We're trying to fill in all the years that an orange chrome was made. I'm trying to complete the orange chrome combo. And you'll see there's one year I don't have. All right, now introduce the 2013s. These sell for a bunch, and I think it's because, like more than those, because it's the, you know, horizontal, full portrait kind of look. He's got his two gray linemen. Look at those. All together, I love those, and those are nasty. This is what started my 2000, my chrome addiction, was these ones. I love these, because I have a bunch of sealed 2013 uh, Topps Chrome Packs for some reason. Don't know why. Horrible year to get a bunch of, but I do. So I opened a bunch and pulled a bunch of the Toms out of it. Okay, now no more orange. But we got this sick Topps Chrome NFL MVP Black. Not numbered. 2008. 2008 Topps Chrome. Love this bad bitty. I had to get that one on eBay auction. I wish I could have said, could say I pulled that. Okay, then finally a numbered card. We're going back to 2014, but this is the number to 4.99 camo. I had to snag this as well as it came in a lot of 50 of these green camos. I got them all in the box behind me. Might do a green camo collection soon, but um, this was what sold the lot. Obviously, what drove the price of that lot. Love that guy. Definitely one of my favorites. Um, this Oh, I forgot about these. Graded cards. I have a really... Don't know why I have this. Don't know why the buddy I bought it from. Thanks, Josh. <laughs> Had it, bought it, but we traded. And I got a 2017 Donruss Heroes Tom Brady ESA Near Mint 7. Banging. Okay. Now, I don't know which one of these is worth more. You know, again, not huge, but more more value. But I do think I know. So, first off, we got a 9.5 Beckett Chrome Orange. That's just my wrapper. Don't worry, that's not Beckett's fault. <laughs> so, going back to that 2014, I wish I had this in a different year. But it's still cool to have a 9.5 BGS Tom. Wish I had a 10. Could you imagine? Okay. So, that's sick old... Graded Tom. And all these I'm probably going to grade eventually. I just don't send cards to grade. I only buy them graded usually. So I need to get into grading. And then my final. The Prism. Red Cracked Ice. Numbered to 75. From 2016. Don't know why that price is there. Sorry. That was just on the cellophane when I wrapped it. I 
reuse them sometimes. But look at that, that's nasty. I love that. Cracked Ice Tom Brady action to finish it off. And again, I've only been collecting these for a year and a half, so give me some time and I hope to have some really, a really good stack. And I will do updates into the channel and new vid. I'm not going to go as hard on cards this year, but we're still going to add to the collection slowly. So make sure to stay tuned. Please hit that subscribe button if you're new. Thanks for tuning in and comment if you got any more ideas or, you know, videos you want me to make. Bye, guys.